presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, Black Magic Sync and Render Mode changes in Pro Presenter 7.8. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you're curious what these things even are, since they didn't bother, well, they just didn't mention them in the announcement, then go ahead and uh, subscribe, click the bell icon, or just uh, give me a thumbs up. Either way. So, this is a couple of things that weren't mentioned in the announcements. And there's even something else that I've learned since I planned this out that I'm going to throw in as well. So let's head over to my computer and we'll uh, take a look at that. So here we are in ProPresenter 7.8. And to see these changes, we need to go into Preferences and then Screens. So down here, if you were on a Mac before under Render Mode, it might not have been stated exactly like that. I can't remember. Um, it used to say use metal rendering and then beta. So now you'll notice that it's unchecked by default. And what it, it doesn't say metal rendering. It says use legacy render mode OpenCL. So if you're on Windows, you won't see this particular line. But if you're on a Mac... What this means is uh, Apple introduced a new way of rendering in ProPresenter 7. Or, sorry, in the latest for well, last couple of versions of macOS. And it is a more efficient way of doing graphic work. So, um, ProPresenter 7 was trying to get that to work and... It was in beta for a couple of versions of Pro 7, but now they've said, no, this is the better way to do it. And if you have problems, you can switch back over to it, uh, to the uh, OpenCL way of doing this. But by default, you're just not going to. So that's good because that's a more efficient way of doing it. You might find the it's uh, snappier and it does other things better than it used to before because now the rendering is going with fewer layers of abstraction directly into the video card. So that's the first thing. The second thing is these things right up here, timing source and disable Blackmagic sync groups. So on a Blackmagic um, deck link, Duo 2 or Quad 2, there are actually one more connector. There's an additional connector that doesn't output video or doesn't receive video for recording purposes. It's a reference signal. Blackmagic um, changed their drivers fairly recently, last two or three versions on both Windows and Mac to where sometimes that, depending on the signal it gets from the reference uh, input, it would just be black. So um, if that's happened to you before, it could be that you just need to uh, click this disable black magic sync groups. Could be that you also need to change uh, which uh, sync you're using. So I've left this as automatic. Probably that's what most of you are going to want to use, but that is what that does is if you don't have the Blackmagic uh, deck link cards or uh, an Ultra Studio HD Mini uh, HD Ultra Studio 4K you know, those kinds of pieces of hardware, you can ignore this, but that's something else. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. 
give me your name and email address so I can make a login for you. And then you can take advantage of the ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course that I have there. Watch the modules at your leisure. They're all kind of shortish. So something to get you up and running with ProPresenter fast. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.